Hey guys, welcome back to All and On Law. This is a medical video lecture, orthopedics. And today we're going to talk about a very important topic that's Montague. Montague fracture or a dislocation. So we have two types of fracture that are really opposite to one another or what you call counterpart. One is Montague and another one is Galazi fracture dislocation. Okay. So in this video, we're going to discuss about the Montague fracture or a dislocation. And in the next video, we're going to talk about the Galazi fracture. Okay, guys. So what's up? Montage a fracture or a dislocation is this is a fracture of what you call upper third or a proximal what you call upper third of Allah so Allah is the medial bone right it lies on the medial side of the forearm right so just remember Montage M and M that's a medial so Allah is fractured over here whereas in a galazia fracture there's a fracture of what you call lower third of the radius right so in this there is a fracture of the upper third of the ulna okay um, if this is a radius okay and there's a over here right so medial side so fracture at this side medial third is known as what you call what you call sorry upper third of the Allah with the dislocation of the head of the radius. If the head of the radius gets dislocated, it doesn't lie in the position. Okay, then it's called as a, this fracture is known as a Montague fracture. Okay, um, it is caused how it is caused. Remember, it caused when there is a fall on outstretched hand, outstretched hand. Okay. The hand should be fully pronated, okay, and he falls on outstretched hand, and this causes Montage fracture. So remember, not only this cause, there can be another cause like trauma or a direct blow on the back of the fore, upper forearm. Direct blow on the back of the upper arm. okay upper forearm right so if there is a direct blow on that side then it can cause so the two causes for montage fracture one is fall on outstretched hand the hand should be fully pronated okay that's also known as hyperpronation injury okay and either as uh, secondly it can be due to what you call direct blow on a back of upper forearm okay what are the types of fracture what are the types there are four types but the two are really very important now, there can be what you call the extension type of injury it depends on what you call angulation of Allah then we have flexion then we have lateral type and fourth one is a combined type okay the extension type is the commoner of the what you call is the common than uh, what you call these three types okay uh, it is usually seen in the 60 percent of the patients okay here in this extension type the ulna fracture angulates anteriorly means it extends okay ulna fracture angulates anteriorly okay remember it fractured it angulates anteriorly means accents and the radial head dislocates anteriorly okay and the radial head dislocates anteriorly radial head dislocates anteriorly right guys so all our fracture segment dislocates anteriorly and the radial head also dislocates anteriorly okay Whereas in a flexion type of injury here where the Allah, what you call the Allah, right? The Allah fracture angulates posteriorly. Allah fracture angulates posteriorly, okay, in a flexion type of injury. And 
the what you call the radial head dislocates posteriorly means they together okay radial head posteriorly right guys so if you want to say it's flexion type of injury means the ulnar fracture should angulate posteriorly and radial head should pull what you call angulate posterior like posteriorly right so this is one but the lateral type this is also a common compared to what you call flexion type of injury the ulna shaft angulates laterally remember means bends to outside and radial head dislocates to the side okay uh, combined type is really very uncommon it's rare it's about five percent of the patients you see this where the ulna shaft and the radial shaft are both fractured and the radial head is dislocated typically anteriorly okay so these are the things that you know about your um, this is about the types of fracture in uh, montagia fracture dislocation diagnosis is by taking a uh, x-ray okay and then you can look at this what you call type of fractures now what important is the treatment okay treatment remember the treatment for this is uh, this is a really very unstable injury so you have to uh, what you call place this in a correct position so okay um, so what you can do is uh, a reduction under general anesthesia is what you can do okay if reduction is successful a close watch is kept for weekly x-ray you can take it x-ray okay for initial three to four weeks okay guys initial three to four weeks um let me write the week sorry here okay in case where there is a reduction is not possible or if there is a redisplacement occurs because redisplacement why because it's a very unstable injury right so it keeps on moving so chances of uh, malunion is very common okay um and in these cases if there is what you call uh now um, close reduction or what you call what you call redisplacement is common okay and reduction is not done so better you can perform what you call open reduction and internal fixation using plate okay or re open reduction and internal fixation can be done okay and once the radial head automatically falls into the position uh, if the ulna fracture is reduced if you reduce the ulna fracture the, automatically the radial head gets into the position normal position okay guys so what are the complications of montage fracture is most important as we said because of what you call uh, uh, unstable injury mall union is very common okay and this can be what you call treated conservatively okay um, right so these are the important what you call uh, information about the montage fracture and dislocation guys I'm, I'm sure you got an idea about this thank you so much for watching this video take care